welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography and drones, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're reviewing a filament today. We're reviewing Magic Filament PLA from 3D Jake. You can see some prints here in the back. It's a crazy filament that literally blew me viral on Instagram with one of the prints. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's roll the intro first and let's talk about it. Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about a collaboration I have ongoing for the one who know me and follow me, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about 3D Print All. It's an Instagram page ran by a really good friend of mine, Giuseppe. He talks about application of electronics to 3D printing. And when I'm usually uh, lacking some inspiration or searching for some create creative idea, I always go and have a look at his profile and get inspired. So all the links to Giuseppe's page will be down in the description. Go pay Giuseppe a visit. I'm sure it will help your creativity boost. So as I told you, filament review today, we're reviewing the Deep Space Purple and Blue PLA and the Metallic Emerald, which is a green and blue filament. What's particular about this filament? As you can see, and I'm gonna put a close-up. This filament is actually divided in two different colors. Here you can see the blue and green, and here you can see the purple and blue. What does that mean? It's not a rainbow filament, but it's a silk filament that will deliver some crazy, crazy results. And it really left me astonished when I saw the first print coming out. I uh, shot it with a GoPro at 10 seconds uh, uh, frame rate and the first one that came out, this bust of a woman, blew up on Instagram and it's currently over 8.3 million views and I mean, I never done that, those numbers on Instagram. I mean, it made me feel like a celebrity. Part was because it's, uh, you know, boobies always uh, call and attract people. But the shining color and the movement of the camera, it was great because it looked like a, an octolapse, but it was an octolapse. It wasn't, an, it wasn't an octolapse. It was this GoPro that at 10 second frame rate built up as as a, with a beautiful effect, as you can see. And it really left me speechless. This was like exactly the first print I did with this filament. I threw it on Instagram, it blew up. And I said, oh my God, I mean, it's a filament or it's just luck. I think it's part of the filament, part of the model and part of the way it was shot. So it went viral and I'm really, really happy about it. I went on and printed out with this uh, filament and uh, started exploring different territories. I noted that when you print in vase mode, the color blends in more equally than when you do a regular print. I don't know why is that. As you can see on this beautiful model, you can actually see the lines where the color shift because half of the filament is one color and half is another one. So there was no blending, you see straight lines. And that happens when you do like large prints or stuff that has a lot of infill that can happen. Nonetheless, came out amazingly, it prints very, very well. It prints like a very pro silk. And uh, this is very, very light. This was only 200 grams of filament, not even, because it's filled, it's empty inside. The infill is a uh, lightning infill from Kura. I'm working on a video on that and it's the infill that I'm currently using for all my large prints because you save a lot of filament, especially on stuff that it has to stand there and doesn't need the weight. So that's a great thought and like, Stay tuned if you want to see it, because I'm going to post that video very, very soon. 
this lizard printer was on 3D Jake's page. That's why I wanted to print it. It turned out really nice. While you turn it, it turns and shifts from green to blue. And it's a terrific effect. It's a really uh, nice and shiny effect that can give to your tabletops and products a uh, refined finish that usually you don't find on other regular silk PLA. They call it magic PLA and it is actually magic. There's other couple of colors I would like to test. 3D Jake were so kind to send me a couple of spools to test them out. And I'm really pleased with that, really. As already mentioned, it's a silk PLA. That means that all the prints I've done with this are pretty nice and shining. This is the metallic emerald. As you can see, you distinguish like green and blue and there's no uh, gap. I mean, it like blends in amazingly. And this box closes perfectly and it actually looks amazing. Vases is what I love to print. And this one, this is a deep space. As you can see, there is a line here, but nonetheless, it looks it looks good because as you turn it around, you can see the shift from blue to purple. And then here, you can still see the line, but it came out really, really beautifully. And the finish of this filament is uh, something that really makes your product looks look like a like a pro product it doesn't look like a product that comes out of a 3d printer it looks like something that was you know sanded and painted and you know that special effect was given in post but it actually came off the printer and it's already beautiful like that you can already show it without any post and that's what i love when I, when I review a filament, I love that a product comes out of the printer and it's actually ready to be shown or ready to be used and shown to people. This is the last vase I printed. It was printed in 0.8 extrusion forced with a 0.4 nozzle as I usually print my vases. It came out amazingly. As you can see, you can see some shifting here, but as you turn it around, there is a beautiful pattern that he gave to this twin vase. Twin vase from Ivan, aka Kawafat Company. All links to his page will be down in the description. Ivan is a great artist and he deserves, certainly deserves more traffic on his page because he's really talented and his creations are very, very cheap. And I mean, I love, I love the way he uh, gets out with the product and the ease of print. That's what I love a lot about his creation. So, Magic PLA, is it worth it? Definitely, yes. I mean, if you're a maker, it's a must. It's something you need to test out and try because the finish I found on this filament, I did not find in any other. The idea of splitting the filament into two is crazy. I mean, I don't know how much work there is in the back to do stuff like that, but I know they put a lot of effort and uh, 3D Jake is a company based in Austria, so totally European filament. I had a look at prices, they're really competitive on the market, they offer free shipping and a lot of coupons when you want to buy it. All the links to purchase it will be down in the description. Definitely a must for a maker and my suggestion is test it out, try it because it's beautiful and it will blow your mind in terms of creativity and stuff you can use it for. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And I'll see you guys on the next video.